What's up guys, I'm sorry for the bad lighting, but in today's video, we're going to be doing some little quick mods to the M3. So one of the things that I need to do is get this car ready for um, Evergreen Grassroots Drift. So I'm going to be doing the Grassroots Drifting Series, which is like a just beginner drifting competition. And uh, there's a few things I need to do to this car to make sure it's ready for safety tech. So for this first round, I don't need door bars, so I'm not going to be putting any door bars in the car yet. But I do need fire extinguishers. So right now we're going to go ahead and mount the first fire extinguisher. First fire extinguisher bracket. Which we're going to put on the cage right there. It needs to be accessible when you're strapped in. The problem is there's no way I can have two fire extinguishers accept accessible when I'm strapped in. I'm going to put another one right here that will we'll be in the front of the seat. And uh, that's going to be where the second one is. So we're going to go ahead and put the first one on the roll cage right there on this crossbar and then I'm gonna get the fire extinguisher and another bracket tomorrow so that we can put the fire extinguisher in here. I'm gonna show you guys this bracket because it's really cool but I'm gonna show you it once I get it on so let's go ahead put it on there we just got some uh, black hose clamps to put it on and yeah. Okay hey guys so there you have it that is all installed it is really on there so you pull this pin right there like that and once you pull out, this whole thing pops out. So I'm going to try and do it with one hand. So that pops out like that. And the fire extinguisher just gets a uh, hose clamp onto that. Make sure to disconnect the fire extinguisher. And just safety of your car at the track. Just like that, it's all snug in there. That's all you got to do. So. Uh, like a week ago, I filmed that video where I installed the quick release for the fire extinguisher. So now we're going to go ahead and now that I got two fire extinguishers, these are probably five pound honestly. I don't know. Um, they're four pound. These are four pound. These are double the size you actually need. So I got two of these. Uh, I might go back and get two pound ones because this was required, but I might need to go to a race shop because this was from Costco. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and install this one onto that quick release that I have on the roll bar. And this one, I have this mount here that came with that. And I'm gonna put it right in front of the passenger seat. So you guys how that goes. Pretty simple. And. It helps to have your car unlocked, guys when you want to show people things. So I'm going to unlock the car, then I'll show you guys that. Okay, so right here is where I'm going to put the fire extinguisher, the second one. It's going to be right here. I'm going to probably go off this bolt to, if I can get it out of here, to the other bolt there. I'm going to mount it like right there like that. Maybe like this. Just so it's like easy to pull out. So I just finished getting that first one mounted. And before I mount the second one, I want to show you guys this. I made this today. Um, you guys probably have seen an FD. When the camera's on top of the car, the camera wants to go, or follows whatever the path of motion the car is taking. So if the car is facing this way, or the hood's facing this way, but you're going that way in drift, this will go like that. Because the fin on there and the way the air wants to flow. So it's a little caster. Uh, wheel took the caster out of it the, like the wheel out of it put a dowel in there put a fit on the back go from out on the front and like connected it to the three uh, puck mount but it works great I'll put a clip in right here of it working Pretty stoked. It actually works pretty well, but not bad for ten dollars. This was uh, the mount was ten dollars, and I already had everything else, so pretty cheap. I bet you could do it for under twenty bucks uh, if you had to go buy everything. But I would highly recommend this for anyone who wants to use a GoPro and puts it on top of the car. Instead of doing that, buy one of these. This is a three three uh, second cut mount for a GoPro off of Amazon. It's like ten bucks, and then you need a GoPro uh, pull mount a dowel, some metal for a fin, 
and then a caster wheel. That's it. Pretty simple, guys. Uh, now, I think we're going to have to install this second power extinguisher. Okay, so I just realized I was totally wrong and I read the instructions on the rules book wrong. It says two, and then it says, the, uh, it's like T-W-O, and then in parentheses two pound fire extinguishers. I thought it meant two two pound fire extinguishers, it just means two, like a, like a two pound fire extinguisher. We only need one two pound fire extinguisher, so I have a four pound, so I'm perfect. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and do one more thing to the car, and then I guess we can put this in the Smurf runner because it's always good to have a fire extinguisher. Like, that's something I don't have, and I really think I should have. Because in the dunes, there's no way a fire truck's gonna get to you before your car burns down. I mean, most of the time, there's no way a fire truck's getting you before your car burns down. See you know how tight this thing is? That's a struggle life having these two beasts in the garage at all times. Um, somewhere in here is the bolts I need. Right here. Always have a bunch of spares, guys. You never know. Like, ow. This is why I not have more shit in my garage. So to install this, which is a well nut, we just go ahead, pull the fender out, put it in that little hole right there, and then put our uh, bolt through there. So now it's tight. You have a pull on the fender; it's not coming out. All the other ones are good. So uh, yeah, maybe I'm gonna check the rears too. Make sure those are all good. Yes, solid. So, that's it for now. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be us probably preparing more for the first drift event. We need to take the rear seats out. Um, I think I'm going to keep the passenger seat in. But get the rear seats out because that's like 30 pounds I can get out of there. Lightweight helps because we're going to be competing and we don't have much horsepower. And yeah, I'm stoked. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.